welcome back to this special edition of Daily Planet, looking at concrete bridge engineering in light of the Laval Bridge collapse in Quebec that killed five people. We've already seen how bridges can be scanned for damage, but what can be done to fix that damage? Well, it turns out some innovative techniques can save some of these bridges, but in other cases, it's a matter of rebuilding the bridge from the ground up. And that could mean starting from scratch. We have built a lot of bridges in the 60s and the 70s. And the concrete bridges in that age group need a lot of care. But repairing concrete before a catastrophe strikes takes a little planning. This is what we find the remains of the cylinder which was not wrapped under the impact of that load of 550 pounds. We see there is nothing left except small pieces of concrete and they are scattered all around. Dr. Shamin Sheikh thinks he can make concrete at risk even better. Concrete is a very brittle material. It is strong in compression, but even under comp compression, it is very brittle. So that is why we need to make sure that we reinforce the concrete in such a manner that it becomes ductile and it absorbs the energy. This wafer-thin wrap will give concrete all the protection it needs to survive enormous stress. It's a carbon or glass-based fibre-reinforced polymer, or FRP. It's simply cut to size and glued to the outside of the concrete pier. So this is a cylinder which is wrapped with carbon FRP. The cylinder weighs about 30 pounds, and we are going to place that now in the machine and test it under the impact load. The weight is raised to exactly the same two-metre height. The rope is cut and... So you see here that the cylinder is completely undamaged and in fact it bounced back and the cylinder is not even in the machine. So what we notice here is that we have improved the energy absorption capacity of the concrete by several fold, perhaps about 200 times.